The invasion of gypsy moth caterpillars isn't just bad news for southern New England's trees. And we've learned that they are also being blamed for giving some kids skin rashes, even causing some schools to cut recess short. Eyewitness News reporter Abby Burke is live in studio now with the new details. Mike and Shannon, Old County Road Elementary School in Smithfield is one of those schools who said the infestation was so bad last week they kept recess indoors one day and the other days they kept students off the playground equipment where the caterpillars seem to be gathering. If this site makes your skin crawl, you're not alone and you might not be imagining it either. Turns out gypsy moth caterpillars can make you itch. After getting a lot of questions, the Northeast District Department of Health released a memo last week about gypsy moths, along with these photos of people who have had reactions to gypsy moth larvae or caterpillars. Eyewitness News spoke to several doctors in the Rhode Island area who say they haven't seen a lot of cases here yet, but it isn't uncommon, especially during this stage when caterpillars are literally flying through the air. Experts say the caterpillars don't bite, rather it's their hair causing the irritation. Reactions can vary from a small itchy rash to larger bumps and even blisters. The reaction usually appears in a line and is often mistaken for poison ivy or another allergy. Discomfort begins within 8 to 12 hours and can last a few days to up to two weeks. The good news? It does go away, whether it's treated or not. Doctors say the best solution is prevention, which means limiting exposure or wearing long sleeves, pants, and a hat when outside. Unfortunately, once you have the rash, there's not much you can do but wait. Doctors say a cortisone type cream can help some, but preventing the rash in the first place is really your best measure. Old County Road Elementary School tells me the recent rain we've had seems to have helped get rid of some of those caterpillars and all recess restrictions have been lifted. I'm Abby Burke, Eyewitness News.